And welcome back to Let's Play Chibi Robo. Alright, so, uh, in this episode, I think we're gonna see if we can climb up to the princess. Unfortunately, this is gonna take a while, and I don't know if we have the battery power or the time to do it tonight. But we're gonna get as far as we can. So basically, the gimmick of this tower is A, warp doors, and B, platforming. Also C, batteries. Batteries are kind of a core mechanic of this castle. We're gonna need these to progress forward. Basically, think of them as, like, small keys in Zelda dungeons. Here, you know what? Before we head back in there, let me charge up real quick. So, yeah, right now my goal is to get to the top of that castle and give the princess back her shoe. Now, we could have had just, like, Mark throw us to the top or something, but nope. We gotta go there ourselves. Alright, let's go. So, yeah, basically we're gonna want to keep our eye out for batteries and any way that unless progress up. So actually, to do, I think to do this dungeon, we need A, the chopper. We also need the blaster at some points. Actually, I'm not sure if you can do this without, like, the range chip. I'm pretty sure you can, but I might be wrong in that front. But yeah, this involves a lot of chopper use just because we can jump. And this is why we also need batteries. Because there are spots all over the castle where you need to put batteries in to activate something. Gotta be honest, the first time I played this game, I did not realize this dungeon- Or this would, like, basically be a mini dungeon. Uh oh, no, 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 let me up. Thank you. There we go. I do want to keep an eye on my battery, though, because like I said, we don't have a ton of it to use right now. And this is also why we need the blaster. Boop. Alright, so I think we want to head to that platform on the right. Like I said, I'm keeping a close eye on my battery. If I start running low, I'm just going to float down to the bottom and recharge. We can always come back and do this later, by the way. We don't have to do it all in one run. Because any progress you make will be saved. Alright, so this is a D, ba D battery slot. We don't have a D battery yet. It's over there. Uh oh, no, 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 no. I went the wrong way. Ah, no, I missed. Yeah, that's another risk of this dun dungeon, of this, like, castle. There are no railings. So it's actually really easy to accidentally walk off the ledge and just fall all the way back down to the bottom. But like I said, if we don't get this done tonight, we'll just come back tomorrow. I'm gonna hold off before giving Mom the receipt, because that will also trigger a bunch of events we don't want to happen yet. And that'll basically cut us off from doing side quests for a while. So I just want to get as much done before we, uh, trigger the next story event. Yeah, we're definitely not going to make it up there tonight. We just simply don't have enough time. I might set the timer to 15 minutes from now on, to be honest. I thought 10 minutes would be enough to do, like, I don't think we can make that. I thought 10 minutes would be enough to do what we need to do every day, but at this point, travel time has started to become an issue, so... Yeah, I think 15 minutes would be a better time per, uh, half day. Because I think we only have, like, one or two minutes left until the day is over. So what we'll actually want to do is hover over here. Don't fall. Do not fall. That would be bad. I don't even care about those happy points right now. Let me see, I think this is the right way. So we're looking for that D battery, which is... The C battery's up there. Uh, where's the D battery? Hold on, where is the D battery? It's probably like right above us or something. Also, I might be going the wrong way. Okay, yeah, day's over. We'll have to come back later. Oh well. 
Princess didn't get her shoe. Actually, no, I would be fine just staying up here for a while longer, Telly. Like, I don't have to go home at dawn. Okay, fine, we'll go home. Telly makes us go home at dawn and at dusk. Maybe it's for, like, maintenance or something. Nope, we're good. Alright, so let me just, uh, change a few things. Oh, also when we go upstairs, we can drop off the record now, can't we? It's daytime. Alright, yeah, first things first. Timer 15. I kinda actually need to buy this eventually, so I'm just gonna buy it right now. While I have the money. Ah... I want to save up for these two because they unlock mini-games we can do later on to, un to uh, get a few stickers, but I wouldn't mine a spare emergency battery. It doesn't really give us that much, but it's for emergencies. You know what, screw it. I'm going to buy one just in case. Also, can I make anything new with the Recyclotron? Nope. No scrap. Oh well. Yay! Oh, also, I have the money. Let's uh, charge up the big battery a bit more. The giga battery a bit more. This is gonna cost the rest of my money, but you know what? It's worth it. Also, yeah, I'm not sure how much a thousand moolah would be in, like, US dollars, but that's still pretty expensive to charge up just a battery. Oh, I should also grab these to throw away later for some happy points. Alright then. Let's head back upstairs. Oh, we could- you know what, we should probably do a Funky Phil side quest now while we can. He's- it's only available during the day at this point in the game. Yeah, let's go do that before we head to the castle again. Also, hi, Jenny. Oh, I think someone- oh yeah, someone in the comments did point out she is drawing a picture of Jenny and Chibi Robo. That's actually kind of adorable. She loves Chibi Robo. Everyone loves Chibi Robo. Who doesn't love Ch Well, maybe Tao- Oh, no, even Tao's kind of okay with Chibi Robo, it seems. Literally, no one hates Chibi Robo. I was fully expecting to be attacked right there, but nope. Nobody hates Chibi Robo. Also, wait, where's the Sarge? I want to see- Ah, uh, actually, let's do the side quest later. Alright, let's go see Funky Phil now that we have that record. That really, really tiny record. Like, that is not the size of a vinyl record, that little box that we picked up. Oh my god, look at these footprints. Mom is the only one been in here, so... She, she seems to have tracked some mud at some point. Uh, there they are. That was a bad place to sit, or to, uh, climb up on. Anyways, Phil, look what I brought you. Also, I see you've been sweating. Good for you. Yep, here you go. 
yeah, there it is. It looks more like a CD case than a record case. Wow, 16-0 happiness points. See, that's how you do it, Funky Phil. Man, Funky Phil is just kind of cheap with his happiness for us, isn't he? Anyways, let's dance. Can I just say that I love so that someone actually had to record a song for Drake Redcrest? It's not that bad. It's kind of Englishy, but eh, that's fine. It's charming. Also, uh, Funky Phil, I think you just sprouted another seed. They're the happiness points I've been looking for. Uh, you tell me. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, bring them outside, duh. For some reason, I didn't know what she meant by taking them out. Never mind, I'm an idiot. She meant it literally, I think. Well, you know, he was so happy the last time we gave him kids. Let's do it again. Oh, also, before I forget... We gotta get some funky sweat as well. Alright, Phil, I'll be right back. I saw how happy fatherhood made you the first time. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, what? Ow! All right, we'll catch up with Dinah in a second, too. Wait, how did I end up over here? I was over there when he fell, and that fell on me. Weird. All right, yeah, we need to get up there. Oh, wait, I forget. How do we get up there again? Uh, I think we do it from the... Yeah, that's how we do it. We have to do it from the central one. Okay. Actually, yeah, Dinah, that was actually a really bad place to knock me down from. Because I need to go up there to get to you. Also, wow, she really flung that block pretty far. Alright, so what would be the fastest way up there? I think it's up here. And then I think we climb up on top of the TV and then hover to the uh, central shelf from here. Alright, let me see here. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get up to her. Because it's been a while since I've had to climb up to that loft. I think I'm going the right way. Also, yeah, I don't really care about these boxes of happiness points. They barely give you anything. 
And that would involve coming back down to grab the happiness points, which I do not want to do right now. Okay, uh... I think we now do this. Yeah, there we go. Also, yeah, there are four GB doors just on a line over there. We'll get to those later. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna go for every single chibi door in the game. Maybe. Maybe not. Some of the chibi doors are really annoying to get to. Anyways, right before, or before we uh, talk to Dinah real quick, I do see a sticker where I can break a wall. You know what that means? Oh, I missed. Can cause a bit of property damage. We're not gonna go through there quite yet, though. I want to talk to Dinah before we go through there. Yeah, I picked it up. It hurt, thank you very much. Actually, no, it didn't. We didn't lose any power because of it. Eh, sure. So yeah, you know those blocks we've been seeing like across the maps uh, up to now? This is what they're for. Actually, do I have any on me? Uh, let me see. I know I have the purple block. I forget, did I pick any other ones up yet? No, not yet. Okay. But yeah, they're scared all over the house, so... it's This is basically going to be a pretty long-term side quest. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can't finish the side quest until after you beat the main story. Because I think one of the blocks is hidden behind, like, the ending. So yeah, we're not going to be finishing this for a while, but we might as well get started now. But we basically unlocked a shortcut up to the uh, rafters up there, so we don't have to climb up there every single time we need to go talk to Dinah. Anyways, I'm going to go plant Funky Phil's seed real quick. Well, let me just charge up and then I'll go plant a seed. After all, like I said, fatherhood made him for happy the first time, eventually. Let's see how he reacts to it once we do it again. Whoops, I don't need to save right now, do I? Nah, we're fine. Alright, so what will be the fastest way up there? I guess... Yeah, well, actually, no, wait. I think there's only one way up there anyways. Give me a second, I just want to make sure I grab everything I, while, I, uh, while I'm down here. Actually, wait, is there a shortcut I can take to get up there? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think there's a shortcut. I think we have to go the uh, long way around. Or if there is a shortcut, we haven't unlocked it yet. Oh wait, no, I need to go up a bit higher. But man, Chibi Robo would be a lot more agile if he had like a jump option, but nope. He is metal and he's tiny, so I guess he doesn't have the strength to jump everywhere. So I guess that makes sense. Also, Mom, what are you doing to these windows? You, you're literally the only one who comes in here, so what's with all the mess? I mean, I'll clean it up eventually. Alright, plant a bit of funky seed. And give it a bit of funky sweat. I think I need to back up a bit. Oh no, that worked. Uh... 
The one at the end there doesn't seem to be quite right. Huh. Well, I'll take him anyways. Yeah, that's not funky. That's pretty freaky. It feels freakier than the others. Why can't I go down? There we go. Alright, uh, let's just go return these to Phil. And by return them, I mean introduce them to his brand new children. That is not my chopper. I cannot fly with sweat. Well, theoretically, no way, no. We don't have nearly enough water to, like, make water jets with sweat. That would be a funny tool, though, if you could basically convert that into, like, a water rocket pack, like in uh, Mario Sunshine. But no, I don't think we're that light. We're Apparently, we're actually pretty heavy. Anyways, hi, Phil. Sorry, hey, Funky Phil. Uh... I made you more children. Okay, he seems to be taking it a lot better this time. Okay, well... I guess we're planting more once he drops another seed. Actually, I think I gave you all six of them, right? Yep, you got all six of them. Awesome! Alright. So yeah, that's pretty much everything we can do with uh, Funky Phil for now. We need to progress to the main story before we can get to the next step. Alright. So, let's go help out Mort and the Princess now. And then I think once we're done with their part of the side quest, I think we'll move on to the main story after that. Because I think we can do the free ranges at any time. But I do want to get this done now before uh, all the schedules change and everything gets screwed up. Oh. Hey, Sophie. So that's how she climbs stairs. Huh. What you up to? Can I help? Alright, well we'll deal with her later too. So, I think we'll end things here then. Next time on Let's Play Chibi Robo, we're gonna head back to Jenny's room. I'm gonna see how much further I can get on the castle now. I think we should be able to reach the top today. Actually, I forget if you can do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do it during the day, but we'll see. So, till then.